Good morning, greetings, and salutations, YouTube is here. Welcome to another episode of the vlog. I am making some spam right here, and Kate is actually watching the channel. Thanks for your support, Kate. <laughs> and there's John. Hi, John. Hey, I got you that shit. Yeah. Hey, guys, so I'm in the kitchen or dining room, and I'm sitting here with John. And we have a lot of things that we need to do. We need to get rid of all the stuff that's upstairs. Why is it still pointed at me? <laughs> do you want to try these lights first? No. That requires a ladder. For that. Oh, also, so these are our lights. Um, I guess they're like the special kitchen and slash bathroom lights because we also have them in the bathrooms and it's a, like water and oil and stuff can't get into them. Um, and you can actually remove them and clean them. The only thing is they're a little more difficult to switch out than your average light bulb. And then when we went to the store, um, they said that these were probably the ones that were up there. But these are cool white, which means it's gonna be a little bluish slash more whitish than I think we have up here. Because these are the energy efficient ones that we got from uh, Costco, and they're like a big pack, and these are a little bit more yellow. But then watch on, turn those on. Those actually are more white, right? Than these lights. I don't know. I feel like at nighttime they're more white. It could be because of this. We should just try it, but maybe later because we don't want to get the ladder. So right now, <laughs> we're trying to decide what we're going to be doing upstairs. Um, I'm actually going to switch out this rug and the backyard is almost going to be kind of maybe done. The inspector is coming tomorrow for last inspections of the backyard for what we currently have. <laughs> for what we currently have. And then once everything's A-OK -okay and inspected outside, then we can finally start putting everything kind of back to where it was and clean up the backyard. And that's where these cushions came from. So then we'll be able to put them back outside. And that will free up my space inside the library. And then I'm going to be able to switch out the carpet. And I think I want to switch out some of the furniture and some of the other stuff. John's going to help me do that. Then we go upstairs. Okay. And then upstairs, we have a bunch of stuff that we need to move out because all this stuff is getting taken out. This is the carpet I want to move. This one right here. Into the library. This other carpet that's on top. I actually think I might send it to the Philippines because it's one of those fabric carpets that you can fold up really easily and won't get damaged if you fold it up into a box. So that might go to the Philippines. And then... There's this. So, I think we're gonna switch. We're gonna take out all the albums, the photo albums, because we need to move all of the furniture that's in here. So everything in this room has to go. Maybe with the exception, I think, of the exercise thing. I think that's gonna stay up here because we don't really have anywhere else to put it. But yeah, so. When we got rid of the sofa, the kids kind of brought out all the bean bags and have extended their playroom out here. We also got to get rid of this. There's a lot of stuff, you guys. A lot of stuff. All right, so here's a quick update. Got the carpet rolled up and everything's been vacuumed. Now I'm going to start moving. These two cabinets are going to go into uh, my parents' room. I'm emptying them out so I can move them, but their room is like literally just around the corner. And then um, we're gonna tackle this, uh, the TV stand last, because I don't really know what to do with it at the moment. All right, you guys, so here is a space 
pretty much everything is cleared out. Zach, what do you think about the empty room? Huh? How, what do you think about the empty room? It's a good job. <laughs> hey guys, it is day two of day Extreme two? Makeover Home Edition. <laughs> We're trying to... Mom's cleaning out the spiders because she's the only one brave enough to get them. Uh, and they're all gonna bite me. So mom's cleaning. We like lifted it up. We're doing like a deep cleaning of this room. We're gonna switch. I'm scared of. Sp Everyone knows I'm already scared of spiders. <laughs> it's not a secret. Mom, you're so brave. Mom's not afraid of spiders, but she's afraid of earthworms. Yes. <laughs> Also, the pool is green, but the pool guy's here to, to fix it. Um, but this is how the room's looking right now. We're gonna change out the carpet and some other stuff in here. It's gonna be fantastic. So we're very excited. Hopefully, um, the guy comes tomorrow to approve the, what is it, Mom? The like the grill and stuff? Yeah. Like the city has to come and check in, make sure everything's okay. And then we'll be totally set to go with fixing up the backyard because then they can, all the, like the workers can take all their stuff and then we can just put everything back to how it was. But yeah. Ooh, that looks like a rat nest. <laughs> so there were like a bunch of black widow spiders in there right now. And I'm trying to hide from them. And John's being the bravest of the brave. <laughs> They're like invincible. Hey okay, guys, this is how it's looking back here. All the furniture is gone. We're cleaning it over here. Now we're gonna roll up the carpets and move all this stuff so we can clean the tile that's here clean up out here because there's a lot of leaves and stuff so a lot, of, a lot of stuff to clean up okay guys we got the carpet out let me show you quick view how it all looks without the carpet I really like the floors the floors are so nice but um, the only thing is they can get a little bit slippery when wet so it's always nice to have a carpet on here and the kids like to sit on the floor and play on the table and stuff so um, yeah it's a little softer for them but I am going to mop right here. I have my mop inside all ready to go. I'm just gonna mop up. There's like some, um, I don't know, like dirt and stuff on the floor. Get it as clean as I can. And then I'm gonna put down the new carpet. So that's gonna be exciting. Cannot wait to see how the room turns out when I have the new carpet. But the floors look so pretty though, right? Like I love the floors so, so much. All right, I just mopped the floors. They're super shiny and beautiful. And I'm gonna wait for them to dry and then we're gonna start putting some furniture back inside of here. Okay guys, I gave the floors another pass through. Uh, cleaning one more time and then I'm gonna clean right there. Um, get all the stuff from the plants out, all the dirt and dust and all that. And then we're gonna start putting everything inside. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's been a slow process, but I just wanna make sure everything's clean. Uh, before I get everything back inside. And we cleaned and um, hosed down all that furniture as well. So then when we bring out the kitchen, everything's gonna look fantastic. And here's Kuya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and the kids. It's very, very hot today. Super hot. And we are okay, so the carpet is looking fantastic. We are missing a tassel right there though, which is fine because it's gonna be covered by a chair. But I really like the print of the carpet. It kind of looks like Louis Vuitton, especially that little Flor de kind of like thing right there. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, otherwise I really, really like it. Now we're gonna put the furniture back on. All right, we brought out the furniture, or brought in the furniture. And it looks pretty fantastic so far. Sorry, like the lighting is horrendous. But um, yeah, so I have the two chairs right here. That one, I'm gonna bring in the middle 
coffee table in a second. We're just gonna wash them. We're washing the side table and the coffee table over there. Okay, I am super glad to show you guys the space. Uh, all the cushions have been washed and they look fantastic. They're back on. It was a little bit of a struggle to get the big one back on, uh, but it was. It came out beautifully. Uh, the carpet, I love it. It's fantastic. The space feels totally different. We're just changing out the carpet pretty much. Like, everything here is still the same. I did move over that one plant right there because I think it was getting too much sun on that corner. So I think right there it'll do a lot better. It gets a lot of indirect sunlight and I think that'll be perfect for it. I also have Hercules right there. Uh, not too sure if he's going to be staying there because I don't like that he's covered. So I also put um, just some of my... Um, what are those things called? Coral right there. The one in the middle is actually a real piece of coral that I got from a thrift store. And the other one is just a cast piece. Um, so yeah, really, really cool. Very excited that it's looking really, really good. Um, <laughs> I just have like everything else to work on. Also, we opened up the umbrella so there's shade right here. And the kids are just watching some Hulu and they're playing iPad right there. And they are loving that the space is available again for them to hang out in because they love being out here. Let me show you guys what's happening over here. So, as you guys know, if you watched my previous uh, vlog, they did shorten this. So it did used to go all the way to like right here, but now it just goes up to there. Um, and it is really dirty right here because they were like cutting things and they were t they took out the posts and were drilling things. So. Um, we're getting rid of the carpet. The carpet used to be here. If I remember, I'm going to insert a photo, but it's like in my Instagram and um, old videos from when, when we redid this space a bunch of times. But, yeah, I'm also getting rid of a bunch of pillows. Um, all of these I think I'm donating. And then those I think I might keep. Uh, and then I have a bunch of other pillows that I'm already keeping. So just these I think are definitely going to be going. Um... I don't know if I like the carpet in this space because I feel like it's more of like a plant thing because we have tons of like, we have the those plants and these and all these. So I think like when there's a rug here, it just like collects all the dirt and stuff. Um, yeah, so plus when it rains here, the carpet's like over this drain and then like it kind of like pools and it's kind of gross and then yeah so it's it's not good <laughs> but uh i don't know like if we're gonna have a party or something i might bring out a carpenter two one for here then one for the other side but uh for right now i think i like it better without the carpet so took out the carpet i think we're just gonna hose everything down once i get rid of the pillows because i think there's just like so much dust and like debris um, and then I think our gardener is coming tomorrow, so he'll give it another good pass through with, um, the leaf blower. I really want one of those leaf blowers. You know, I bought one once at the Goodwill, and I thought I had a charger for it. Did not have a charger for it, so unfortunately I did not get to use it, so. But this is the kind of the state that the backyard is in on this side, so yeah. Also, we had like two birds nests up there, which is so intense. Um, and the birds have just been like pooping all over the furniture, which is no bueno. There's just like poop all over everything. So I want to hose everything down. I have like this like electronic cleaning brush that I got from the Goodwill, which I'll show you guys later. I was using it earlier and it is magic. It is amazing. And it was like the best $7 I spent on a cleaning supply. <laughs> it's, like, I don't know how I lived without it. Uh, but yeah, so I keep showing you all the dirty stuff. So yeah, this is what we're going to do right now. I'm going to clean this up and I'll show you guys how it looks after. I pretty much just kind of hosed things down outside. Um, I think I'm going to tackle that again later because we're gonna do right now is that uh, we're gonna do this area the library I'm um, going to take out this carpet and we're just going to uh, retire it for the moment and we're gonna move all the outdoor cushions those are the other ones I still have to put out but those are the ones I don't want to put out yet because those are the ones that go like outside and I don't know what other like other work they might still have to do the other ones I'm probably gonna bring those in tonight and then I'm just gonna bring them out again um after they work I just really wanted to get those out there right now and um yeah anyway 
So, this, this space is going to change up a little bit. Uh, the carpets make such a huge difference in how a space looks and feels. So I feel like it's always a cool way to like change something. Even if you're just going to change one thing, it's like the carpet and it's pretty easy. Uh, we're going to bring that carpet from upstairs, which is right here. It's kind of a hot mess because uh, we slid it down the stairs and that was, probably wasn't the best idea. But it's really, really heavy. So that carpet right there is going to go in this space right here. Alright you guys, most of the furniture is now cleared out. I'm just going to get the furniture sliders on the dining, or dining table, the coffee table. And then we'll be in business, but say goodbye to the carpet. The carpet is so much fun, like it, it brings so much whimsy into the space just because it's like cool, geometric, black and white, you know. But it's time for a change so i'm very excited to be moving this carpet and putting in something on carpet it, is, it actually looks smaller when there's no carpet there wow wow show everyone your new carpet you like it yeah. okay so the carpet fits exactly in this space eliza is in love do you love it yeah now we just got to get all the furniture inside all right, you guys, it's looking really good. The carpet fits perfectly. So we are very excited about it. It makes the room feel a lot bigger as well. So love it. Oh, what's that, Eliza? Show everyone what that is. What is that? Oh, is that your toy? Yeah. Cute, cutesy blue. Oh, cutesy. oh, you're so shy. Guys, okay, so it's actually a couple hours later, and I am pooped um we did so much say in the backyard um the california room is pretty much done um i'm gonna work on the courtyard part tomorrow and like the barbecue and stuff so tomorrow i think is when the inspector is coming um f to inspect like the backyard like the barbecue area and then once that's all done and then they can like the um they can start cleaning up everything and all that stuff so um yeah, I'm pretty excited. And then what's happening on Thursday and Friday is going to be the loft upstairs. So I have been working on getting everything down. That carpet that went to the library was originally from the loft. And it fits in the library perfectly. Like It's like we had it made uh, to fit in that spot. So I'm very, very happy that it turned out very, very well. Um, but tomorrow I'm going to be cleaning up some more up there. And then some more outside. And then... Yeah, just a lot of cleaning and putting things away and getting things organized and set for <sighs> Thursday and Friday, which I'm very excited to share with you guys. So I don't know when those videos are going to go up, probably sometime next week. And then in the vlogs, I'll show you guys bits and pieces, but I'm not sure if I'm, or maybe I'll just stick them in the vlog. I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, but right now I'm going to work on tomorrow's videos, video or videos, maybe just video, videos. Um, I so. I don't know if I'm going to film any haul videos tonight. I wanted to, but I feel like I'm going to be too tired. I might just do it tomorrow morning before I start working on everything else. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Love you guys so much. Hope you guys had fun today. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye! So I found some fun shirts. There's this J. Crew shirt that has these really cute toucans on it, which is super duper fun. And then there's also this Ted Baker shirt, only $10. All white. Michael Kors. Nice plaid. Oh, and there's this really cool um, American Apparel shirt right here. $7. It's the one with like the, I think they're called Ming collars or something like that.